2018 Techart 991 Turbo S review The new Porsche 911 Turbo S was among our favorite cars introduced last year. This year it is Techart's turn to show their take on the 991 Turbo S. We took it out for a spin at two areas where the Turbo S is particularly well at home, the countryside and the unlimited German Autobahn. Techart offers a range of modifications for the Porsche 991 Turbo and Turbo S including performance upgrades, interior customization, wheels and of course an air kit. Our test car came full option with literally the entire Tech Art range mounted on the 991 Turbo S. The Stage 1 power kit delivers another 60 horsepower and 130 newton meters, raising the output to a total of 620 horsepower and 880 newton meters of torque. This adds another 10 km per hour top speed to 328 km per hour but more importantly it reduces the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint even further to well below the 3 seconds mark. Techart claim an official 0 to 100 km per hour time of 2, 8 seconds but a few launch control tests we did showed a staggering 2.6 seconds. With the performance upgrades the Tech Art 991 Turbo S also came with a sport exhaust system and sport tailpipes that improved both the looks and the sound, flaps and the exhaust allowed the driver to control the noise levels between muted and super car like. The sport exhaust really does add a lot to the driving experience of the 991 Turbo S, which as standard is blistering fast but a bit unemotional. To improve the visual impact of the vehicle Techart fitted their 20-inch Formula Light alloy wheels and the Aerokit 1. The Aerokit consists of a new front spoiler, side skirts, rear spoiler, roof spoiler and diffuser. Add the gray, blue striping and the 911 is transformed from a fairly understated and common appearance to a true eye-catcher. No matter where we went everybody was looking at the creation from Lee Onberg. On the Autobahn the Techart 991 Turbo S feels at home like a fish in the water. As soon as the traffic clears and you put your foot down the car accelerates effortless to speeds that you would not be allowed to drive if this wasn't the unlimited German Autobahn. Even well above 200 km per hour it keeps pulling hard even in higher gears. Compared to the standard Turbo S this is where the extra torque comes in. As impressive the Tech Art 991 Turbo S is at the Autobahn, the area where it truly takes your breath away is at standing starts. Whether you use the launch control system or just put your foot down from standstill, the car rockets forward like hardly anything we have driven. The all-wheel drive system offers phenomenal levels of grip and as the car rushes forward and you are pushed deep into the seats you will struggle to talk. The new Techart front spoiler incorporates the active aerodynamics system that Porsche introduced on the 911 Turbo S last year. Above 120 km per hour the flexible rubber lip folds down improving airflow and front end stability. At lower speeds the spoiler retracts again. Techart offers an optional nose lift system to make passing obstacles or entering garages easier. Inside the most notable changes are the three-spoke sport steering wheel, custom stitching and many customized blue and white parts to emphasize the individual style. All the interior enhancements are made to order and Techart promises a nearly unlimited choice of colors and modifications available for the interior. After a weekend with the Tech Art 991 Turbo S we conclude that it spices the 991 Turbo S up with the very welcome modifications to the sound and exterior. It fills a gap between the standard 911 Turbo S and more emotional cars from other brands. With their 991 Turbo S Techart delivered a true head-turner with breathtaking performance that we would love to have back in our garage at any time. Twenty eighteen first drive.
Audi RS5 TDI concept This year Audi celebrates the 25th anniversary of the TDI engine. To make the celebrations extra memorable, a revolutionary new TDI-powered concept was revealed in the form of the Audi RS5 TDI concept, featuring a powered rain unlike any other on the market. It provides a glimpse into what could be the feature of forced induction. What differentiates the Audi RS5 TDI concept from all other vehicles currently on the market is that it features an electrically driven turbocharger. On top of this electric turbo, the car features two more traditional exhaust flow driven turbochargers which can deliver as much as 2.4 bar of relative boost pressure. The implementation of the electric turbo helps to reduce all turbo lag by ensuring that the smaller of the two regular turbochargers can be spooled up at a moment's notice. As a matter of fact, the electric motor can accelerate the compressor wheel to over 70,000 revolutions per minute in just a few hundredths of a second. Recuperation is the primary source of the drive energy for the electric turbocharger. To transmit this energy, the Audi RS5 TDI concept uses a separate 48 volt electrical system that is connected to the conventional 12 volt electrical system via DC slash DC converter. The energy is stored in a compact lithium ion battery. The advantage of 48 volts electrical systems is that they enable the transmission of larger amounts of energy. This makes them an important milestone in the Audi electrification strategy. When it is all said and done, the 3.0 liter twin turbocharged V6 TDI engine delivers a very impressive 385 horsepower and 553 pounds to foot of torque with a red line sitting at 5,500 revolutions per minute, thanks to the instant power and torque provided by the thoroughly revised engine, the Audi RS5 TDI concept truly rockets off the line. As a matter of fact, it will sprint from a standstill to 100 km per hour in just 4 seconds, hit 200 km per hour in less than 16 seconds and continue accelerating onto its top speed of 280 km per hour. Despite these extremely impressive performance figures, the RS5 TDI concept is actually extremely fuel efficient and sips less than 5.3 liters of diesel per 100 km. That equates to 44.4 miles per gallon in the US additionally, less than 140 grams of CO2 are emitted per kilometer. To put the performance of the RS5 TDI concept into perspective, it is really worth comparing it to the standard Audi RS5 currently available to customers around the world. Its naturally aspirated 4.2-liter V8 engine may produce more power, at just over 440 horsepower, but torque is significantly less and sits at 317 pounds to foot compared to the 553 pounds to foot of the RS5 TDI concept. As a result, the normal RS5 takes 0.6 of a second more to reach 100 km per hour and is electronically limited to 250 km per hour. Recently Audi board member for technical development, Ulrich Hackenberg, confirmed that the upcoming 2016 Audi SQ7 will become the firm's first model fitted with an electric turbocharged engine. This is great news for both diesel lovers as fans of turbocharged engines, clear. The strive for lower emissions has already pushed many car manufacturers to turbocharged engines. But all had the same problem, turbo lag. With this new technology making its way into more and more passenger cars, lag might become something of the past and a car's torque and performance curve can be developed in a way that matches each car's character. On the Styra Raceway in Sweden we had the opportunity to drive a few laps with the Audi RS5 TDI concept and we must say it was an eye-opening experience. Beyond Le Mans racing diesel cars are hardly associated with racing. It slow revs exactly the opposite of what we associate a race car with. But doing our laps of styre of the TDI engine actually was a lot of fun. Of course this had a particular reason, the electric turbocharger provides so much power in the low range that it accelerates like a little rocket out of the bends. Above all the power delivery is very linear, 
like you would expect from a naturally aspirated engine. On top of that its torque band has made so wide that on this tight little circuit the third gear was enough to lap the entire circuit at speed. 25 years after the first TDI engine, Audi brings another innovation to the street that in 25 years from now will hopefully be as common as the TDI engine today. Thanks for watching and listening. Please like subscribe share and comment.